All right. With that said, let's get to the first email today. And the first email today comes to us from Tony Cooper, who writes, I've just seen that Warner Brothers is adapting Attack on Titan with IT director Andy Muschietti. Does, does the content mean it would have to be R-rated and how much? Budget you need when all the announcements are giants and you would have to have some pretty significant budget when all the things are giants. All right. Thanks a lot for the question, Tony. And yeah, so this news kind of came out yesterday um, that it director, Andy Muschietti, who did such a great job with it, making like the biggest opening for an R rated film in history. One of the highest grossing like, horror films of all time did such a great job with that. They announced that they're doing a live action attack on Titan. Now, Attack on Titan is very popular, has been very popular the last couple of years. For those of you who don't know anything about Attack on Titan, here's the basic Coles notes, all right? Humanity has been forced to live in these cities behind these massive walls because out of nowhere, these giant human-looking titans, they call, show up. And what they do is they show up and they start picking up people and eating them, and it's gruesome. At least in the anime, it's pretty gruesome. And it's all that kind of stuff. And then there's these heroes that get together and they start to train and learn how they're going to do this and how they're going to fight against them, and hence is, there's your story. Now, actually, back in, 2000, I believe it was 2015, I think, they actually put out a live action, uh, I believe it was a Japanese version, live action version of Attack on Titan. And I think it was in two parts. And here's the thing. It was all kinds of terrible. I mean, it, it, was, it was all kinds of awful. I mean, and one of the things you can tell right away in watching the live action version of Attack on Titan was the fact that this did not carry with it the budget that they really should have needed. This, this movie clearly did not carry with it the budget that you clearly needed to tell a story like Attack on Titan and get the results that you want, right? And create the, the effect and create the emotion and create the impact you want. This is one of those stories where you really do need the proper budget. Money doesn't always solve any, everything when it comes to movies and storytelling, but sometimes money is needed. And this is one of those things where if you're going to create the emotional impact that is supposed to be felt by the audience, you do, do need to make sure that the visuals are up to scratch. You do need to make sure the visuals immerse the audience into that to feel that horror, to feel that dread, to feel the impending doom with these titans coming in and all that kind of stuff. You need that stuff, and that was something that the original live-action film did not do a very good job on. So you're absolutely right. If you're going to do this thing, and it looks like Warner Brothers is behind this, if you're going to do this thing, you got to make sure, number one, that you do not cheap out on the film. Now, I'm not saying that a, an Attack on Titan has to be like a $200 million budget film. I'm not saying that at all. But you also can't make it as like a $70 million film. This is a movie that's going to require a $140 to $170 million budget. You're just going to need that to do it right, to do it appropriately, to have much better impact and better effect than that the 2015 version did, you're going to need that. The more So that's kind of obvious. The more interesting question to me, though, comes up in the realm of, well, does this thing have to be rated R? Now, if you guys have followed me and listened to me for any period of time, you know that to me, R-rated is overrated. You know, R-rated is often overrated. Sometimes it's very necessary and to great effect. But sometimes R for the sake of R doesn't help anybody. And I've even said before, when Deadpool was coming out and we didn't know it was going to be rated R, I said, look, we would all prefer Deadpool to be rated R, but there is a way to do Deadpool PG-13 and it could work out just fine. When a lot of people are saying Venom has to be rated R, I said, well, I mean, v Venom rated R would be fun, but... It doesn't need to be rated R when you really look at the character. I'm going to say this, and I don't say this often. I believe a Titan movie, yeah, I believe it's got to be rated R. And it's not just R for the sake of making it R. Not Don't make it R because it's cool to be rated R. That, that's not what I mean. But remember what I was just talking about a second ago about how you're going to do your visual effects in this movie. You have to do them right to create the emotional impact. The reality is staying on that theme about emotional impact and narrative flow is if you really want to create the powerful emotional impact that you get from the anime, you have to see the very gruesome things that humanity sees in that environment. 
Humanity in this story and in this world of this story sees horrific, gruesome, horrifying things. If the audience is also going to share in that emotion of the gruesomeness, the horror, the, the absolutely unimaginable, terrifying realities that they live in, if the, if the audience watching this is going to feel that, and I believe feeling that is absolutely necessary. It's the foundation stone. If the audience doesn't feel it, this whole story falls apart. So that's foundational. If you're going to do that, yes, number one, you got to make sure your visual effects facilitate that. But then number two, I believe it's got to be rated R. I do. I believe to get that sense of horror, to get that sense of terror, to get that sense of doom and dread and awfulness and bleakness and hopelessness, we as the audience have to experience what those characters living in that universe are experiencing. And if you do a PG-13 version of it, I just don't know that it's going to have the same emotional impact. I just don't think it's going to have the same emotional effect. So even though I'm the guy who's always going, guys, R-rated is overrated. Not everything has to be rated R. That doesn't. Even though I'm the guy who usually says that, I'll tell you what, if you're going to do this one, give it the right budget, and you got to make it rated R or else your narrative, you're going to impact it negatively from a narrative point of view. And that is something you cannot fail at, not in a story like this. And if you do it right, even though North American audiences have shown they are not all that inclined to rush out and see anime adapted movies on the big screen. If you do this one right, I think this is a story that very well could resonate with a lot of the average movie-going audience, even those who have no you know, inclination towards anime stuff. I think this could be a big hit if you do it right. Will they do it right? Will it be a big hit? We'll have to wait and see. But I think this is great news about attaching this director, and I think if they approach it the right way, we could have a big hit on our hands. All right, let's move on to the next email. And the next...